Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Let's go back to Joshua Boetsy a couple of weekends ago. Uh, I'm sure mm. you've seen what Callum Johnson said about you, but if, if, uh, <laughs> yeah. if people don't know what I'm referring to, I'll just read out what he said. So Callum Johnson speaking about you. I've heard some crazy things said on TV in my time, but that's up there with the craziest I've ever heard in my life. I don't know if he's being paid to say stupid things like that or what. Basically, you were saying that you're doubtful whether he wants that Boetsy fight, Callum Johnson. Uh, what do you make of Callum's comment? I, I was on Talk Sport uh, with Callum Johnson the other night, and when I explained my way of thinking, uh, I don't know how the conversation was going before I came on the show, but by the uh, the way the conversation was going by the time I came off the show, uh, I think you kind of understand where I was coming from. So let me play, drop it in you again, and and remember, Callum Johnson's a matchroom fighter. So, so, so he's a matchroom fighter. So, so if there's an agenda, you tell me where the agenda is. Callum Johnson has not boxed for almost 600 days for one reason or another. He's had three fights in three years. Didn't box in 2017. You still with me? So, so what I'm saying is, so, so what I'm saying is, dog, come on. What up? I'm back. So yeah, Callum uh, is in, in activity. Yeah. Yeah. So he's been inactive. And 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 you have Joshua Watson, you have, have Yard, you have Callum Johnson. These three are world world class fighters. Two of them have already bought the world title. What I'm saying is if Callum Johnson's almost a forgotten man, at the age he's at, you cannot spend your career waiting about for I'm waiting for this, I'm waiting for that, I'm waiting for a European title fight. That's not even on the table. And and Joshua Watson is number three with the WBA. Do you think you'd get more props and more, pop, more chance of, of, of getting another crack at the world title, bumping up number three in the world, uh, then, then hanging them out think, waiting for a European title that he's not even penciled in? Um, uh, what I've done is set the cat amongst the pigeons and made people talk, made people think, well, why not get these three guys together? They're all talking about, I want to go here. Want, and, and listen, Callum Johnson was the name I picked out of the bag. It, it could have been... Uh, Anthony Yard, it could have been Joshua Watsi. These guys are all looking in every direction but in, in each other. The amount of revenue, interest, uh, kudos in regards to fighting each other would be ridiculous. I'm just saying the quietest out of the three, and it's not what he's saying, it's not what he's not saying, the quietest out of the three is Callum Johnson. So, so common sense, something like, what does this boy want? It's a what? Make some noise. Make some noise, keep yourself in the mix. Don't talk about a fight that's not even penciled in. Just say, yo, are you mad? You're talking about Joshua Boatsy. I'll, I'll deal with that, boy. That's how he wants to be talking. You're only about talking about Yard. And he needs to make a, make a, make his, he needs, excuse my French, piss on his tree. But, he, but he's, he's getting to the stage where he's at an age where people could easily forget about him mm. and forget he's in the dance, forget he's in the nightclub. But he's actually, he, he, Callum Johnson can paint, bunch, he can fight. He's not active enough. Uh, Callum Johnson is 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 the, the 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 one that's not on the tip of your tongue when it comes to those three. So so to me, uh, as a as an ex fighter, and trying to think like a current fighter, as in Callum Johnson, I'd be thinking, I've not boxed in six hundred days. I've had three fights in three years. At this age, at this stage in life, if I do win a world title, how long will I be there for? Because I'm now getting to a stage where I'm, I might be classed as old um, uh, or, 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 or senior um, in boxing. So, so to me, it was a silence that, that was deafening. You know, I just thought, and that's why I said what I said. I'm sorry if I, it came across as disrespectful. Um, but at least he set the cat amongst the pigeons. At least now they're talking about it. I don't, give a, I don't give a crap how much grief people are saying, Nelson, you're, you're a company man or you're, you're this, that and the other. I actually chuckle at it because I want to know who they are. <laughs> which, which company, Joshua and Boatsy, 
uh, uh, Joshua Watsi and Callum Johnson are both promoted by the same man. You know, so how's that work? You can explain it to me. And so, so I'm only saying things that a lot of people are too scared to say. Uh, and, and I've done it with Taz and Fury, I've done it with, and I will do it down the line. And that's my, it's just my opinion. It's not Sky's opinion, it's my opinion. But if you're honest, you'll think, well, you know what, he's actually got a point there. And what I'm saying about Callum Johnson, 600 days. He's not boxed for 600 days. I know we're in a pandemic. I know, I know, I know fights, it's locked down. 600 days, three fights, three years, at this stage in your career. And you're waiting for a European title fight that's not even penciled in. Don't make sense to me. You know, it, it, it just don't make sense. Yeah, when you put it like that, in that context, I think it makes sense what you are saying about Callum. But just a quote on social media, it might come across differently. Yeah, it comes across different. And listen, I'm an ex-fighter, so what it takes bottle to get in the ring. ring. So please do not misquote me and say, I'm saying Callum Johnson's not got the bottle to, to, to get in the ring with it. I'm saying you just don't want it. I'm saying you just don't fancy it. By the sounds of it, you just don't fancy it. I'm not saying he'd win or lose. What I'm saying is, well, you ain't talking yourself into a position where you're thinking, I want that fight. I don't know if he said afterwards. I don't know if I read somewhere, I heard somewhere that he said afterwards, yeah, give me two more fights and I'll fight him. I don't know if that's what was said afterwards. I've got to check my facts on that. And if that was what he said, someone needs to have a word with him. Say, yo, yo, listen, retract that. I understand you've not bought so I'll have one fight and then jump back in again. If you're saying I want two more fights, it means I want two more fights to so make sure I'm ready. Um, but, but one more fight, in the stand because he's been out for so long. But when he's saying I want two more fights and then I'm ready for him. Yeah, again, it makes me, me doubt the authenticity of his, of his intentions. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.